This video is supported by Rocket Railways for all your model railway needs. Please check the link in the description below. Hello and welcome back to Galgorm Hall. How do we go about converting an old Lima Mark IIb coach into an NIR liveried one? In this video I hope to show you how. The Lima Mark II coach isn't exactly a pretty thing. Um, they're fairly basic in uh, comparison to what you can get nowadays. However, for my project, I required the Mark IIb coach. Northern Ireland Railways purchased a number of these whenever they were uh, stocking up on coaching stock for their enterprise service between Belfast and Dublin. And Lima, as far as I'm aware, are the only ones that offer a Mark IIb coach. So it's that or nothing. Obviously no NIR liveried stock was ever produced by Lima, so we do have to produce our own. And with, in that case then, we do need to look at doing a respray and adding new decals. So in this ho video, hopefully I can show you a fairly quick and easy method for putting those together. First thing we need to do though, is to take this thing apart. So are all fitted together just by little tabs and it's a matter of finding each one of those. The first one that we want to do is to remove the roof section, the, whole, the entire grey bit and there's two little tabs, one at either end which we need to try and get beyond the, um, the curved section of the actual coach. So by twisting the coach ever so gently hopefully you can see that a gap's beginning to appear in the coach and it's a matter of trying to get that to pop out. And there we go, that's it coming out now just with the help of a screwdriver. That's it. Now, once that is released, there are tabs all along the bottom here. Now, depending on the fragility of the coach some of these tabs may break but that's not a concern because it will go back slightly differently than what we had originally was intended for this coach we plan to replace the windows and it's the windows that are actually holding it in place there we go that's it do you see i have broken these here but this whole section is going to come off anyway now with that out we can remove our set, um, seating and the the weight that's in it too and we're left with three tabs along each side and they now need to come out too so with careful prising moving that little tab forward we should be able to pop this out easier said than done eh That's one, two, and once you get the first ones going, the rest of them do become a little bit easier. There we are. Okay, so that's us all broken down into our individual components. First up, we're going to take the the body itself and we need to get all the paint stripped off of it. And the easiest way of doing that is to take an old spaghetti jar and fill it with your IPA and just drop that down inside. Now that'll probably take well actually the paint comes off these Lima, uh, liver, uh, these Lima coaches very very quickly but I tend to leave it in just for 24 hours. We'll take it out, give it a clean down, um, an old toothbrush will help with that there and then a rinse under water and then I'll pop it back in for a second stint just to get the, uh, the, re the remaining paint off and then we'll come back to it and see it in its naked state. Uh, another of the ugly unsightly um, aspects of the old Lima coach is the old D coupling. Some of you may like this but I don't particularly. So what I want to do is I'm going to remove that and we're going to replace them with uh, KDs. So first of all we'll take off the coupling hook itself. It should just pop down and out. 
like so and if we remove the actual wheels themselves just to make this process a little bit easier to work with we're now left just with the basic bogey now with a Stanley knife we want to cut away this decoupling but essentially we're just going to cut it right along that line there to leave this rectangular piece behind with that away there's only this tiny little uh, raised piece here which is where the actual coupling hook slots into and we'll need to file that uh, flat too so for that we'll just take our standard craft blade and work away the top of it and then if there's anything left just give it a little sand back now I find for in terms of the KDs the number 5 coupling works best for this and they're essentially little block house, uh, housings in which In which the coupler rests into and then it's only a matter of gluing one of these onto the base that we have just cleaned up so if I make one of these up I'll show you what what I mean now with that number five coupling all made up it is just a matter of gluing it into place onto your rectangular section there we want to try and make sure it's as central as possible and I am just going to use a little drop of plastic weld and run it around the edges and that's one coupling ready and can just put the uh, the wheels back into place and that's it and we'll just repeat the process for the other side and we'll take a look at the roof as I mentioned already we want to remove all of this we're going to replace all the glazing with the southeastern fine cast flush glazing so this here needs to come away so that it doesn't foul against that now it's a fairly hard plastic and quite easy to cut with a Stanley knife what I find what I found useful was to get some blocks of wood and I've managed to sort of piece together sort of two or three blocks of wood and that will just sort of let me set that in there oh. try prise that apart slightly that's now a nice tight fit so that whenever I go to cut it now with the Stanley knife it's not moving about on me or risking breaking the the roof and it's literally just a Stanley blade and a metal ruler and run down the length of it just leaving enough plastic at the top uh, so that it will slot down inside your coach carriage now it doesn't need to be cut right the way through just enough just enough that we can then with a little bit of manipulation bend it and it'll break that's one side done and we'll just repeat that for the other and then this roof is ready for painting okay the coach is now stripped of all its paint one more thing I forgot to do earlier in removing stuff were the the gangway ends and they just come away with little tabs in at either side and just with the pressure of a screwdriver that will release them so now we're ready for painting the internal seating will get primed just in a Halfords grey primer the roof is going to get painted in Halfords Volkswagen Urano grey and then the coach itself will prime it first in Halfords grey primer once dry then we can apply the Halfords Ford Dove grey to the entire piece and once that's finished I need to mask up both ends in around just below the ribbing and the top piece of the roof can then also be painted in that same Volkswagen Urano grey once that's completed 
then it's a matter of just applying an additional coat of a clear lacquer in preparation for the application of the decals. for the next stage well we would be if i hadn't messed up on this end with regards to the masking so i will need to go back to, and redo this end um just before we move on you will notice that i added the gangway connectors back into place prior to spraying that's just so that we get that even coat of the uh the, Vo the volkswagen gray uh, across the roof and down onto that doorway now next stage is the windows we're not going to fit the flush glazing at this stage but what we do need to do is to prepare the window for that flush glazing the lima coaches the uh, the frames around the windows sort of bevel inwards slightly so they need to be filed out to allow for the flush glazing to fit properly so what we need to do is to take a small file i've got a flat square or a square um, needle point file here and what we just have to do is file right down the length only a couple of passes in each case and we need to do that right the way around the window and if we install our window again it should yeah it does sit in much neater and flatter against the framework now that needs to be done for every single individual window on both sides all the spray painting is now complete and i have each of the windows filed out ready for the insertion of the flush glazing but before i do that i need to fit the decals and for this i'm using the product from real tech transfers these are a really really good decal uh, real crisp bright colors and good definition between the blue and the white uh, in the printing of it they do take a little bit of care and attention when applying it is very easy to get it wrong and to end up with either a bubbly decal or them tearing all together so just take your time in this for that reason i'm going to do this off camera much easier to concentrate on and i'll come back to you once that stage is complete and success First time Ryan managed to get these decals on and they're now all sealed in with a coat of gloss paint and they do look rather good I think. Okay, we're almost at the end now. What we can do now is fit our flush glazing. If you remember earlier in the video, I did say that I was using the flush glazing from Southeastern Fine, South Eastern Fine Cast and these are for Lima Mark II B coaches. So, what you want to do is to cut out each individual section so for example the main windows will cut out that entire section and you can do that just with a pair of scissors but then after that cut away the three upper windows and leave the other one separate so you have the two separate ones that's the main window and the other small one now that you just can't place these in um, as they are. They just won't fit. And the other instance that that's the case where you need to cut out each individual window is in the toilet area window. Um, so you would cut out the large one and then these two small ones need to be cut out individually as well and applied uh, separately. So it's a matter of placing the window just into the aperture. If it's been filed out well, it'll slot in quite nicely. And hopefully you can see there that it is already looking a million times better than the plastic that comes with the windows or with the, the roof section. Once that's in, it's just a matter of using some of your plastic weld.
run around the edges and it's job done and then we can repeat that whole process again for the top three windows now if you find that there is any sort of re resistance in putting these windows into place just take your needle file and apply another little bit of sanding filing to those sections just to get it right otherwise you will slightly buckle the plastic of the windows and it just doesn't look right windows now firmly in place we're more or less ready for reassembly just before we do a couple of things to point out one is the little steps on each or below each of the doors have been painted in revel mat number nine and that's anthracite on the toilet windows i have just applied a piece of white paper and that's just had a it's been run through a drop of rocket card glue essentially and then just put into place okay assembly so we're back to the coach and everything basically goes back on the way it came off so first of all we will have the the coach body itself goes back on and that should just clip into place We'll put our weight into the base and then the interior. Now actually on the interior, as I said, I had painted it, primed it grey, but prior to putting it back in, the seats have been painted in blue, which is Revel number 55 and that's aqua blue. And then the tabletops and just the end panels here have been painted in Humbrol number 186, which is brown and just sort of helps to set it off a wee bit. With my other coaches, I have been including figures and this would be the time to be putting them into place as well. But for the life of me, I cannot find where I've put them or whether I've used them all up. So for the time being, this coach will have to do without. And then the final piece is adding this roof back into place. Now that should just clip underneath at the one end. We can bring it, feed it down in to the coach sides like me you operate code 75 track you will need to change the wheel sets on these two and replacement wheels are available from peter spares they had been out of stock for a time but all now back in stock and it's a very simple replacement just take your bogey out take out the incorrect wheel And replace with the new that brings the rake of coaches i have for my layout to four i do need one more to make up a full inter enterprise set that fourth fifth one is a driving brake trailer so it will require some modification to one of these lima coaches to make that happen i will come back to that in a future video though and there we are i hope you enjoyed the video as i said already there is that driving trailer to convert and I will come back to that in a future video. I would like to add a couple more coaches to it but realistically speaking a Hunslet would have been operated at either end for anything more than a five coach rake so either I don't bother or it gives me an excuse to pick up another of those Hunslets. Hard choices isn't it? Anyway thank you very much for watching. If you haven't, if you haven't already subscribed please do so below click that bell icon as well so that you get notified of future videos and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.